Good morning. I just uh, got back from a four day, three night hike on Cumberland Island, Georgia with five of the YouTubers and I'll put their channels in the description. But um, they, they've started posting their videos, but I had to go back to work the very next day. So I'm a little late, but I have been working at it and I had a, uh, some footage that uh, <clears throat> I had edited out and I felt like it, I didn't want to put it in my um, hiking video, but it I felt like it deserved mention. So um, I'm gonna add it in here. And uh, the first, first thing was it was my birthday hike on February the 7th. And I, <laughs> I only told Kevin and I said, don't tell anyone. Uh, you know, I don't mind them knowing it's my birthday, but I didn't want them to know prior to going on the hike. Of course, you know the story on that, right? You tell somebody, don't tell anybody. That just means everybody knows, but they don't tell anybody. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was surprised. I knew something was going on because Tom Walker from Following Walkers World, he had slipped up in one of his video and said something special was going to happen. And I quizzed him on that and he, he fluffed it off and said, oh, it's just bloopers and things like that. But actually the first night he'd gotten them all together and um, he had a birthday present for me. And um, I'm the only one that don't have the footage of, of the little ceremony, I guess you could call it, because I, he told him to get the cameras out, something special was gonna happen. Anyway, Tom had went ahead and got me this Dyneema bag from a company called hilltoppacks.com. Ben McMillan and his family, his wife, I think, they run the company. But um, he'd gotten this bag, and if you notice, it's got my logo, or a logo, and all, I don't know, I, I guess they did screenshots from various videos and put it on this Dyneema composite bag. This is a Diddy bag, I guess they were referring to, and it has like two compartments in it. I haven't quite figured out what I'm, I might use it to put my wallet and money in one side, keys in the other, something like that, but it is two compartments. And uh, anyway, I was pleasantly surprised that that had happened. Now, by chance, as Tom was um, ordering this bag and talking to Ben at the hill, hilltoppacks.com, he um, had mentioned that him and his wife watched my videos at least he said he did, in his shop. And uh, they wanted to contribute something to my 79th birthday. <laughs> so they won up Tom, believe it or not, and they sent me a bigger bag, <laughs> big food bag with with all the pictures, my picture on both sides, and the food bag. Now, I haven't had a chance to use either, either one of these yet. But actually, um, Ben won up Tom again and also included this which is a little bear hanging kit bag, a little Dyneema bag, still had my logo on it. Isn't that neato? That really is neato. And oh, they do custom printing, so if you're interested, you can look them up. And uh, in here is the, uh, I think it's Dyneema. I think it's Dyneema cord. It slips real easy. It doesn't get tangled in, in the leaves and the twigs, and it slides over the branches pretty good in uh, uh, at the campsite. Now, he also sent me these little labels that came with it. And um, usually anybody I do business with or somebody I'm, I like and interested in, I usually put it on my bulletin board, which I'm going to do right now. And he's going on the top right here. Now, anytime I do a video in the shop, his logo will be back there. Now, that wasn't the only that wasn't the only surprise I got. Ice Bear, Ice Bear Hikes, and they all gonna be in the description. She also <laughs> given me this. This is a SOL survival blanket. It's, it's a, a, a supposedly a better one. But anyway, this was given to me. So I appreciate that. And um, Kevin has given me a gift card from Amazon. Now on it, it said $25 to $500, but 
Of course, I was hoping it was five hundred dollars, <laughs> but it, but it was a twenty-five dollar gift card, which is greatly appreciated. Kevin, thank you so much. And then Brad, uh, Brad from um, As the Crow Flies Hiking, had given us all this little pin here. I don't know if you can see what it says, but I'll read it to you. But it says, uh, United States Attorney, Northern District of Alabama. He's a, he's a United States Attorney. But anyway, he was with us on the hike. And um, now that's all I need to say about that. I was going to include the little clip that was actually, actually used the bear bag uh, kit and hanging. And also, there was mention of Kevin had found an artifact on the island. I deleted it. I didn't put it in my um, regular videos, cause it, but I felt like it needed mention, so I'm going to include that. Plus, we have a, we were sitting outside the Ice House Museum, and Kevin noticed a, a, a not a barge, but I'm going to say it's an LSD-type ship that the front comes down, that, and um, they had a lift on it because they was going to do some work, we think, on the um, Plum Orchard Mansion, and they're going to need a lift to get up there. So anyway, he was, he was saying, he said, I think they're going to come right here. He noticed in the, where we were sitting on the benches that it looked like that's where they would bring stuff like that and unload it right on the beach, of course. It, anyway, I recorded it, and um, they came, let it down, and they, they, the uh, woman got up in it, cranked it up, and rolled it all off up on the beach. Now that was the end of that. Then, so we started off down to Plum Orchard. I, I'm, I'm sorry, we started off to Dungeness Ruins to, to go see that. And as we was going, this pickup truck, zoom, alongside says, I want them videos. We thought we'd done something wrong and wasn't supposed to um, uh, video record that. But actually the guy, he wanted uh, the video. I guess no one's ever video tape that oper kind of operation where the boat would come dark and unload and everything. So he wanted that, but we couldn't figure out. He had an Android phone, which I have. We all have at least a th uh, Ice Bear, Kevin and and myself had the um, Android phone. And the guy in the truck had Android, but we couldn't get his Wi-Fi direct. So what we did, we told him how all three of our YouTube channels. And if you watch Ice Bear and, and Atypical Hikers, um, video you would have seen this you would see the um, operation so he's got all three of ours and hopefully he will watch it and be happy with it but anyway that's it so i'll go ahead and start my video i'm gonna try to keep it short it's got nothing on hiking at the moment I, this is stuff i took out of my editing process so i'm gonna start it now for you listen i got this new little bear bag with some bear bag co uh cordage in it this is that I don't know what they call it, but it's real thin and it's slippery, and supposedly it don't it don't catch a lot of twigs in the in the ground. But the most important thing is looking. I got this little bag. It's got my logo on it, Senior Hiker Seventy Seven, all over it, and it comes from this company called Hill HilltopPacks.com. Ben McMillan and his family uh, sent this to me. One try. Ooh. Huh. Wait a I got it. You got oh, look it. How it. Look at that. That little bit of wind, it still comes down. I got to do this, but it, look at that. All right, we got it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> I love it. Cumberland Island and this is I've got one in my rock hawk video and it's got another round piece that sits here and another bolt that comes through this is a uh, muffler off of like a Model T or old I guess maybe they had the same muffler on different engines and stuff but that's what that is the old it would have been a thinner metal here which is why the casing is gone who knows where the other end piece is but that's a, a muffler or what's left of one. Of the Model T? Yeah, Model T, Model A, all them old cars. And there's another, some old pipe thing. I don't know what it is over there. So, 
There you go. Thank you, Kevin. And Ice Bear. Well, you said a car. If you said a lift, then I... They can bring people's cars on and off the island with this thing, too. All right. I got enough of it. Well, look at the cabin. Yeah, she got to raise up the lift to get over the over the thing. It's a rental too. It's probably gonna be here for a long 